Inside the story tonight, a vicious cycle ahead of the busy Christmas shopping season. Season, we're putting a live at seven focus on the importation and use of 60 cycle electrical equipment on the JPS cause 50 cycle grid. What does it all matter, really? There are some implications, and tonight we present our consumer alert. Before we go any further, we did invite the Bureau of Standards to be a part of this discussion, but the agency declined our invitation. Nonetheless, we will hear from Garth McKenzie, the Director of Commercial Process Control at the JPSCO. But before all of that, a Live at 7 consumer alert inside the story. Little known facts about purchasing the right piece of electrical equipment can make the difference in how efficiently the device performs and, importantly, whether you will qualify for compensation in the event of a power surge. That's because the JPSCO is not likely to assume liability for damage to electrical equipment that is not rated 50 cycle, the standard at which the light and power company supplies electricity. I found this out the hard way recently when I filed a claim to the JPSCO for damage to my refrigerator and the surge protector on it. A few days later, the JPSCO dispatched an assessor. The company responded via this letter, saying to me that the nature of the supply of electricity is such that the interruption of or fluctuation in supply may occur from any number of reasons beyond the reasonable control of a supplier. And then the JPSCO goes on to tell me in the letter that their investigations also revealed that the damaged equipment were rated at 60 cycles and as such improperly rated to operate on its system. So I sat down with Paul Gray. He's the manager of the Energy and Engineering Division at Appliance Traders Limited, one of the country's largest importers of consumer and commercial electrical equipment. I wanted an explanation as to what the fundamental difference is between 50 and 60 cycle electricity supply. Well, um, when you talk about cycle, you're talking about the frequency, I'm, suppo I'm supposing, right? The frequency is the number of oscillation per second that you actually use on your electrical grid. For example, in the United States, we use 60 hertz. In Jamaica, we use 50 hertz. What it means is for the layman, if you're looking at a light bulb, it's actually flickering 60 or 50 times per second. So when you look with persistent vision, you see a continuous light. But when you have a problem, you'd actually see the bulb flickering, and that is actually emulating what is happening with the cycle. If that explanation was a bit too much to absorb, then all you need to remember about electricity cycle is this. For example, if you were to buy a 60 cycle piece of equipment in the States and bring it to Jamaica where we have 50 hertz, what would actually happen is that that piece of equipment would actually draw more current that would normally be designed for. That can lead to inherent problems, it will lo lower efficiencies, and it would actually cause the motor to burn in instances because now you're drawing more current than the, the equipment was actually designed for. So when you buy appliances, it is important that you note whether the equipment is calibrated to work on the JPS cause standard 110 or 220 volts, primarily on the 50 hertz cycle. But, Mr. Gray explains, that may be a problem. What happens is that Jamaica is a hybrid, in the sense that we are clo our closest trading partner is actually North America, which is 60 hertz. And we, by tradition, have adopted a 50 cycle grid coming back from, from, our, from, 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 from the European occupancy of Jamaica. So what you have now, Elon, is a voltage that is mostly closely aligned to the United States, but a frequency that is aligned to Europe. So we like to say that we have a European um, frequency and a United States voltage. Now that creates problems for us. Jamaica being a relatively small net consumer in the global appliance and electrical equipment market is hardly in a position to dictate to manufacturers that it be supplied with 50 cycle compatible equipment. So it all comes down to what's available. And since our closest and most cost effective electronics supplier is North America, Jamaican consumers have had to, without question or knowledge, use incompatible 60 cycle equipment designed for the US market. Only a few electronics resellers like ATL are able to import 50 cycle compatible electronics directly from the manufacturer. So when you use a 60 hertz appliance on the JPS cause 50 hertz grid, this is what could happen. What you're using is losing efficiencies. And um, it's nice to talk about a particular piece of equipment like, like a refrigerator. You would actually be losing about 12.5% efficiency on the refrigerator, right? Now, 
that in a sense is because and you can also run the risk of burning a compressor right why because what happens is that the, the, the actual compressor starts to draw more current than it normally would if it was in a six cycle environment now again this is why you have to now have an educated consumer because we at appliance traders what we try to do is to in inform our clients what are the possibilities what is it that you need to do to negate against these problems additionally you could end up not being compensated for damage caused by power surges, brownouts, or spikes. Perhaps part of the solution to this problem lies in new inverter technology, already present in more modern air conditioners and refrigerators. By veering the, 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 the frequency to the motor, now, you are now eliminating the problems that you had before in terms of the, frequ the, the, the frequency problem of 50 and 60. Also, with a variable, variable frequency being applied to a particular motor, you can now un control the speed of the motor and, in, his, in essence, control the efficiency and also, for example, in air condition, have a stable temperature. However, since most of you already use non-inverter refrigerators, it may be a good idea to simply open up the door of your refrigerator and to take a look at this panel right here. And it will give you an indication as to the number of cycles the refrigerator is using. This one, the 60 cycle that I told you about earlier, for which the JPSCO had denied my claim for damage to it. I mean, do you really see the JPSCO going 60 cycle? Well, Elon, that's a question for the JPSCO, you know, in you know, all honesty. Um, uh, if, if I was to, 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 to venture to give a layman um, answer to that, I'd say no. I don't believe that the, the, the whole conversion of the grid to 60 cycle will happen, not in my lifetime. Um, the cost of that would be horrendous. Um, what it is, it will be more the consumer and the, import, um, the importers conforming to try to, as best as possible to bring in 50 cycle equipment to meet what the grid is. Okay.